In this video, I will show you a really easy method to describe how functions move, like whether they move up or down or to the right or to the left. And so to show you how this method works, let's start by looking at these four points. Looking at the orange example, x is positive 2. So x direction is going left and right. So positive x is going to the right. So we can see that this moved to the right two units. And the y direction is negative 12. So negative y, y is up and down. So negative y is going down, down 12. Now for the blue example, everything is opposite. Now the x is negative. So negative x, remember x is left and right. So negative x is going to the left five spaces. And the y is positive. So up and down, positive is going up, up one space. Now for the red example, x is zero, so we did not move to the right nor to the left. It didn't move. It's at zero. It never went anywhere. But for the y, it did move. Two spaces upwards, so up two. And in contrast, this last example, the x is two and the y is zero. So positive 2 on the x direction, that's going to the right two spaces. And in the y direction, because it's 0, there's no move. Now the next part of this method is, is to remember a really silly illustration. So let me ask you, where do you change your clothes? Inside your house or outside? So hopefully your answer is you change inside and you're not going to change outside your house. So same thing here. Inside we have x minus 2. So this negative 2, let's change it to positive 2. So the x direction is positive 2. And the y, this 3 over here, because this is outside, no change. So that positive 3 stays positive 3. And now with this point, we can describe which way this function moved. Positive x went to the right. And positive y went up simple. For this example, inside is plus 8. So let's change it to negative 8. Outside, negative 4. Outside, don't change. So still a negative 4. So x is going the negative x direction. So negative 8 x direction that's going to the left 8 spaces. And the y coordinate is going negative 4. So that's down four units. For this example, we have a negative 12 here on the inside. So inside change becomes positive 12. And the y coordinate negative 3. But outside does not change. So still a negative 3. And so positive x, it went to the right 12 units. And negative y, it went down 3 units. So here we have two examples that look almost exactly the same. But the orange one, the minus 7, is inside with the x. And for the blue one, the minus 7 is outside. So let's look at the difference. Inside is negative 7 will change to positive 7 for the x. And outside, you see how we don't have a plus or minus anything on the outside. So that's going to be a 0. Because plus 0 is the same thing as not having anything. So the x direction, positive 7, that went to the right 7 spaces, and the y, 0, so we did not move up and down. Now look at the blue one. Now this time, inside, we don't have anything with the x, so the x coordinate is 0, and outside is negative 7, outside stays the same, so the y coordinate is negative 7. So we did not move anywhere in the x direction, but in the y direction, it's negative, so we went down seven spaces. So here, again, we have two examples that look almost the same. So the orange one, inside we have a positive two, change it to negative two. And outside we don't have anything, so that's a zero. So it went to the left two units, and the y direction, up and down, that's zero, no change. And for the blue one, inside we don't have anything with the x, so that's a 0. 
outside we have a positive 2 so remember outside does not change so outside is a positive y so y is positive 2 which means that it goes up 2 units so this example is basically the the what we were doing by in reverse so it, let's write a function that moved left two spaces and up eight spaces so left and right we know that's going to be the x direction and so because that's on the inside it's going to change this positive two changes to negative two so inside we have x negative two and outside does not change so this outside stays the same for this example we want to write a function that moved down six so notice that we did not talk about moving to the left or to the right. So that means that the x is going to be 0, but the y down 6, that's going to be a negative 6. So now let's go ahead and use that information to write the function. So inside, well, that's a 0, so we don't have anything else. But outside, we have a minus 6. So f of x minus 6. In this example, we are going to write a function that moved to the right 3 spaces and moved down 5 spaces. So, three spaces to the right, that's going to be a positive x, but down five spaces on the y. So down on the y will be negative direction, negative five. And then we can write the function notation. f of x, inside we have positive three, so change to negative three. And outside does not change, so it's a negative five. 